right what is going on welcome to the channel all right so in this video we are going to do a very complicated dangerous drive down the notorious georgetown pike here in great falls virginia um and on top of everything it's raining and uh we're gonna let fsd drive the whole course here and see if it can um, hopefully get me through this without any interventions. So yeah, I wanna thank everyone for watching this. If you're not familiar, I am going down Georgetown Pike. This is kind of like uh, one of the original highways here in Vir Northern Virginia. It leads right into the Capitol Beltway, which is where I'm headed. And uh, it kind of connects all of uh, Northern Virginia to Washington, D.C and southern maryland so in this video we are testing out fsd version 11.4.7 and uh here we go so <clears throat> it is raining out a little bit it's not too bad it was raining a lot more earlier um and fsd has given me a notification here saying fsd may be degraded poor weather detected so with that being said, weather is always a variable can, that can throw off the computer, so I'm going to be extra careful and vigilant just in case anything happens, I will take over. Alright, so as you can see, we are dealing with a really bendy, curvy um, road here, and uh, it's kind of traffic hour, it's 5.30 on the dot, um, it's a weekday, uh, but hopefully I don't run into too much traffic out here. Um, let's see how this goes. So starting with this really notorious turn right here, suggested speed at 25, it took it at 29, so maybe a little slower it should have gone, but it still handled it pretty smoothly. So as you can see, low visibility here, the sun don't really shine down here. Um, there's actually uh, great hiking spots over here. This is difficult run to my right. If the weather is nice, it's a great place to pull off. And uh, a lot of people go kayaking through the river and stuff and hiking through these mountains. All right, check out this super, super curvy turn. Here we go with the second part of it. It actually handled that very nicely. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with 11.4.7. They did promise a little bit less with the steering wheel nag. Actually, um, I don't think I got too many so far on this drive, but I have noticed it quite a bit. Um, so that hasn't gone away. But they did say that there is an update. Here we go with another sharp turn. There is an update on the way. It's supposed to be 11.4.7.1. <clears throat> And this is actually going to be a be a pretty big update is what i'm hearing it's supposed to bring a lot of the there we go with the steering wheel nag it's supposed to bring things like gear chime um and a few other like uh already like search controls and the text font size and things like that that some of the non-fsd cars have already received so it kind of gets those little user interface updates once things are I guess ready to uh, improve again on the other side and <laughs> we finally get it it's like an iPhone with the USB-C charger <clears throat> no I'm just kidding but so far so so good um, really nice job I think handling this back road especially in the rain um, oh here we go with the notification once again just kind of alerting me and we got a really sharp turn coming up here so oh with a double alert this time so I'm not sure why it's going off but I'm gonna be ready to take over that's kind of what it's telling me nice job slowing down for that turn it actually took it at a really good speed um, I think it's handling itself at a really well manner even with the slick roads right now um, shout out to Tesla and the autopilot team. Definitely happy with uh, my experience with FSD beta. It is a nice upgrade to uh, autopilot, uh, which I think is very sufficient. Another steering wheel nag there for like, you know, probably more than 50% of people and the way they drive and their commutes or routes. 
Uh, but if you really want to push it to the limit and get, you know, zero intervention drives, make it do rights and lefts and accomplish things you were really, you know, surprised that it can do, then, you know, I definitely support you checking out FSD and seeing what it can do. Um, you can actually download it to your car now uh, as long as you have a Tesla with basic autopilot. Um, Maybe worth it to check it out for a month, especially if you got a road trip coming up or something like that. Uh, as you can see here, it, it's doing a really good job and only expect it to get better. On top of everything, they did do a recent price drop on FSD. It was 15000 probably for like the past nine months. And just now recently here in like uh, 2023, uh, just late August uh, or early September even, they... Um, they lowered the price now to 12000 so a little bit less, still pretty expensive, but a little bit more justified, justifiable price at $1,000 a month for 12 months, if you want to look at it like that. Uh, granted, this does last the lifetime of the, of the vehicle, but it really is supposed to only stick with the car. I am really hoping that they do offer a one-time, again, FSD transfer. I really just hope they just do it one time, you know, for everyone that buys it, like whenever, you know, redeemable whenever, but only once. So that, that would be really nice to see because I actually just wasn't ready to take advantage of it during this uh, time period, quarter three that they claim. So unfortunately, you know, it just didn't fit right with me for the time period that I got the car and how many miles I put it put on it I just wasn't ready to sell it given granted the value and everything so I really hope they offer that down the line because I really want a cyber truck one day and hopefully I can transfer my FSD to that that would be a dream come true so yeah um, really nice job here with FSD we got about a mile left here to get me to um, someone pulled over there to get me to the beltway so I mean, I think it did a really good job. Probably three or four steering wheel knacks in the last eight miles or so. There we go with another notification. All in all, very happy with the result. Um, I'm gonna let it finish off here. This little bit, really sharp turn there. This is Scott's run here to the left, which um, during a really uh, nice day, if you ever get the chance, to any of the locals go and hike out there. There's a really cool waterfall back there. Um, right now, the parking lot was empty because it's raining, but uh, of course, you're going to have to try to go when it's dry out there and uh, hopefully when it's not too cold. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching this. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. This was definitely one of you know my favorite videos to shoot. This is actually my favorite road to drive on and I uh, really like the fact that I don't even have to drive on it anymore. So... Yeah, really impressed with FSD. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, have a great rest of your day.